Middleton on Harper. Out to MJ for three. It's short. Kornacek pegging it ahead to Russell. But Michael, with whatever gas is left in his tank, gets back to pick it off. Rodman, offensive foul on Dennis. And that's five. Now, Isaiah, that's what you're talking about. Jumping out off that screen and make Michael Jordan be a passer. Throw it to Rodman, who can't finish. And you saw Jordan right there complaining, saying Rodman need, needs, to have he needs to have a chance to come down. I thought it was a questionable call. When you look at this play, you watch Jordan come off the screen and he's double teamed. And as an offensive player, you're allowed to establish position and come down. It's a tough call right there. Oh no, says Michael. The Jazz by a basket. Well, remember last year in game four, Stockton to Malone that won the game. The long pass over the fingertips of Michael Jordan. Stockton with a great pass. Michael just misses it, and Malone gets the layup really to seal the win. Well, moments ago, were we going to see the same thing here? A chance to go up four. Hornacek throws the pass, and Michael Jordan, with every ounce of energy that he has, goes up and gets the skill. He misses the shot, the three that would have put him up one. Had this gone through, it would have been a four-point lead for the Jazz. Michael gets back and makes the great steal. Jordan has 37 points on 13 of 32. Two of seven in the fourth. He is three of 14 in his last two fourth quarters. Even Superman apparently gets tired. Malone, lots of room. Got it. That's their pet play. Malone goes over like he's going to the post and screams for Stockton, and he rolls out and hits the huge jump shot. Jordan spinning. Double team. Has to get rid of it. Gets it right back from Pippen. Double pump, knocked away by Carr, and a foul. Isaiah, normally on this play, Malone goes to the post. This time he goes and screens, so Stockton can get to the middle of the floor. A mix-up, they trap, no one rotates, and Malone buries the shot. Now, on this defensive possession, Hornacek, I thought, should have run at Michael Jordan and made him pass the ball back to Scottie Pippen. You got to take the ball out of Jordan's hands right now and make Harper or Pippen beat you from the perimeter. Jordan's 9 of 12 now at the strike. Now you look at the job that Russell is doing against Jordan. He's keeping him out on the perimeter, not allowing him to come into the post. He hits them both, making it a two-point game with exactly two minutes to play. Stopped it. Russell with a huge rebound. Tried to throw it off Rodman's leg as he was walking a tightrope and couldn't do it. Chicago back looking to tie. Michael. Short. Rebound Stockton. The jumpers come up short when fatigue is a factor. It's true of anyone. Even the best of them. Rodman got in front and knocked it loose, but Chicago touched it last. Phil Jackson hot over that call. A minute 14 remaining. Watch Hornacek on this play, wrapping off a triple screen. Stockton for three! That would have been a dagger in Chicago's heart. Instead, they could tie it. Or take the lead with a three of their own. Jordan. And a blocking foul. Stockton is down on the floor. 
Jordan's going to come to the line at Stockton's fourth. You watch, you watch Jordan fake like he's coming to the middle again. Russell gives him the baseline. Stockton comes over a little too late. He called the blocking foul on Stockton. Jordan again at the free throw line. 20 seconds on, 20 second timeout. Chicago takes a 20 second timeout. Now you watch Jordan in the fourth quarter trying to get to the basket against Anderson. Pulls up and takes the jump shot again. They're keeping him out on the perimeter, not allowing him to get into the post. Coming to the foul line for his patented free throw line, Jay. But again, Russell keeping him out of the post. Pulls up, shoots it a little short. This is a big 20-second timeout for Chicago because it allows Jordan to get some rest before he goes to the free throw line to try to knock down two. At the line, he's 10 of 13. From the floor, he's 13 of 33. Well, in this fourth quarter, Michael is only two of eight from the fourth quarter, but what he's done is he's been able to get to the free throw line. He's six of six, so he's shooting his seventh and eighth free throws of the quarter. They've got to find a way to be able to guard him without fouling him here. He cuts it to one, Phil Jackson has told the Bulls during the last couple of timeouts, let's try to take it to the rack, go to the basket, not look for the perimeter shot. Jordan ties it. Maybe the 20-second timeout was, as much as anything, just to give him a breather to gather himself for the crucial free throws. 50 seconds. Malone. Cross court, Stockton, a three, it's there! Now Ron Harper is guarding Stockton who cuts through. Pippen is gonna double team. So what's what happens now? Stockton's gonna circle through and Antoine Carr dives down so Harper has to play him. Now on the skip out pass, Stockton hits the three. What a huge shot to put his, to put his team up three. Look, look how close his foot was to the line here. A three by inches. Now this is what Carl Blast Malone has to do. He has to find the open man and Harper runs at him. And normally, it's Stockton and Malone. This time, it was Malone to Stockton. Ten points for Stockton. At age 36, he's played more NBA playoff games than anyone in history without winning a title. Now, the Bulls would like to get two-for-one possession here. Try to get a quick score, get to the free throw line to give them two opportunities to one. Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell, brings them to within one. They scored within four seconds there. That's how quickly that changes now. Now it puts the pressure on the Jazz to score once again. Jordan with 43. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago, 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Timeout Utah, 5.2 seconds left. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. At the end of the game, you gotta get it out of his hands. He's beat you so many times. You watch Jordan play, Doug, and you know that at the end of the game, he's a killer. This was really the play that hurt Isaiah because they scored so quickly. Michael got in there and scored within four seconds. 
And what and what happened was Michael doubled back. You're going to see he's in the play. Look where Hornacek is setting the screen. Michael never clears, so Malone doesn't see him. He comes from the blind side and strips him. So three crucial plays here by Michael Jordan now as he gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips, and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold in the next several months, but that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. The referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is he has all the tricks. That's why it's so difficult to guard him. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? I don't think you can put it into words, Bob. I mean, what he's done here in this fourth period, you see the 16 points. He got about a minute's rest and had to come back in. And Scottie Pippen has played a gutty, gutty game today, but still plenty of time here for Utah to try to score. But that's what Jordan is so smart at with his brains. He rested on defense so he would have enough energy down the stretch to perform. All right, 5.2 seconds. Utah down one. Coach? Well, you've got, to, you've got to do one of two things. You've either, either got to get the ball to a guy where he can attack the basket. Utah loves to run a play up at the top where they wrap a guy to the corner and then pin down and catch at the top. You know if Malone gets it, they're probably going to run at him. Stockton and Hornacek have made key shots their entire career. Stockton, Hornacek, Antoine Carr, Carl Malone, and Brian Russell. If they score, there's a game seven. If they don't, for the second straight year, they go out in six. Stopped it. Harper's on him. Behind the screen. Harper got a piece of it. It comes off. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. When you lose by this narrow margin, speaking of the Utah Jazz, there are so many things to look back on. But the Howard Isley three that was taken away in the first half will eat at them all summer long. Jackson and Jordan, perhaps for the last time. Chicago 87, Utah 86. Jerry Sloan showing class, trying to shake hands with each and every member of the Chicago Bulls who won two out of three here and two out of three in Chicago. Thank you, boy. Dave, thank you, boy. Statistically, especially in terms of shooting percentage, Michael Jordan has had better games. But when you consider at age 35, the games he's played this year, the grinding minutes he's played, and Scottie Pippen being all but incapacitated tonight, and the fact that they're on the road, and the fact that the odds would shift to Utah's favor for a game seven, yes, MJ rose again.